Hi guys, today we are going to determine the displacements of a 2D truss. 2D truss, we have to determine the vertical displacement at B, vertical displacement at B and horizontal displacement at E of a 2D truss. So we are going to use our SAP 2000 software for determining the displacement and we are also going to compare our results with manually determined displacements of the truss. So now open SAP 2000 version 18.2 and set up your units. I mean keep fit. Oh, put to new, form, new model. Okay, now click on grid only. Okay, now I'm going to use. Okay, so we have um, in eight direction one, two, three ordinates, right? Three ordinates and in Z direction. 1, 2, 3, uh, 3 ordinates and the expression will be uh, 24 that means 12 and 12 and 15 and 10 okay that means here 3, 1, 3, it will be uh, I mean 12, 1, Okay, use exit view now as this is in uh, this is 15 and this is 10 this this distance right so uh, use 30 so redefine ordinates spacing okay going to use 15 10 Close this window. Okay. Now we are going to draw our truss. We know that uh, truss generally consists of pin joint. All this is pin joint. No okay, so click here. Now changes to pin joint. A step frame okay um, as as we as there is no de defined that what is the steel section of the truss we are not using any steel section of the truss so we'll consider this line uh, as a center line of the truss and we will consider area of the center line will will be default area and the modulus of elasticity of this steel section I mean the center of the uh, uh, truss will be default that is uh, 20,000 ksi and the area will be 5.5 .5 inch square it is the default it is a default area if you are not using any kind of defined steel section that that will Okay. Mm. I don't know if this. Uh, uh, it's okay. 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 Now uh, assigned now assign um, joints restrain I mean supports assign supports here will be in support 
and here will be your support okay now assign loads i mean join loads after all assign uh, join loads process click here and um, my in left direction 20k okay that means uh, minus 20k 20k money 20 keep okay are all work is done now we have to do we are going to use p delta for our accurate result go to the load cases okay add new load case this is very easy okay uh define th okay let it be the name and load and we will use non linear for more accurate result use p delta okay mm -hmm. okay yeah for for more information you can also define a steel section and so it's our description for what this is still section uh no still section this is what i am talking about we will consider only center lines of the truss not any kind of section i mean not wide flange or channel or double double channel or double angle okay we will use only center lines that's why the default modulus of electricity is uh, 20000 ksi and the area area will be considered as 5.5 .5 inch square for each for all members that is uniform area for all members 5.5 .5 inch square now our work is done now we are, we are going to um, analyze it said analyze option in xz plane that is our xz plane for convenient for convenient purpose click ok and now um, analyze run analyze uncheck this this one is used for dynamic purpose we are not considering any dynamic purpose so uncheck this do not run ok ok now uh, oh sorry run now let's start from it just wait for a minute uh, progress is is in run okay okay now we are going to check our joint reaction uh, now we're going to check our joint reaction okay now click here joint uh it's in dead load okay so here is our join that is 20 in 22.5 22.5 and that is 19.17 and by our manual calculating here it is 20 and this is 20.83 and this is this was 20.83 nearly same now we are going to uh, show our displacement of of vertical displacement of B and horizontal displacement of E okay so um, go to deform shape go ACA and click here okay the for b u3 means vertical deflection okay i means in z direction that is 0 0.002 that means there is no 
nearly nearly zero feet in, oh sorry this is feet i just change it to inch uh keep inch okay so this is a uh, use vertication and this is 0 0.002 inch this is nearly zero right and for our result this is vertication is zero uh, nearly same I mean this is more accurate than our manually calculated displacement and u1 means in x, x direction u2 means y direction and u3 means z direction that means vertical vertically okay now checking our uh, at e okay this is e now we are going to use uh, horizontal reactions right that means u2 okay our u2 results is oh sorry there it is u1 right this is in x direction right not in y direction so uh, sorry my mistake this is x so u1 means x direction and u2 y and u3 or z i'm very sorry so u1 is equal to minus 0 0.070 0 0.0703 and um, our result is in x direction minus 0 0.16 that is because it is in defined it this module of elasticity and area is in defined condition but we have but our sap 2000 uh, take it is as a default that is e is equal to 20,000 KSI and A is equal to 5.5 inches square for all members. So, if we replace this with those values, that is 20,000, 1, 2, 3, and all these uh, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, then, then our results will be. Uh, this minus 0 0.12 inch this is in this is in inch right i mean uh, okay this is is in inch hmm. okay and our here result is um 0 0.0703 that is near i mean uh point 0.1 after all and that is okay it can be taken hmm. so and you can also check your bar forces i have uh, sorry my sir uh, and i mean i had determined bar forces here s keep means a uh, totally bar forces we can also check your bar forces um clip frame axial forces okay show values okay we are now showing bar forces blue lines means the member is in tension and the red line means the member is in compression and if we going to just result um, okay oh how I do okay so this a b right a b and b c a b is uh, 20 that is 20 obviously minus that means it is obviously in compression and b c is zero right? this is b c right and this is zero uh, a b b c that is zero so all our result is okay no problem but there is something change here then bar point axis and bar point axis little different okay and as this is little different uh, in forces there is little different in displacements mm. so ok now we are going to use another uh, another window here it is uh, now we are going to use here uh, probably dead lot ok low there is um uh, sorry there will be here uh, okay 
there's a slightly different right here is this uh, generally u3 is a uh, 0.002 it is also um 0.002 and u1 is minus 0. Point, point 0.015 uh, and here it is 0. 0.0702 and here it is u1 0.002 okay Uh, okay so thank you for watching this video hope you like it and okay thank you bye